What is going on everybody? Jake the programmer here. In this video, we're going to cover a recent survey that was done by GitHub that really goes to show that programming is an ever long learning skill. Basically, every programmer right now is using AI in their workflow. So let's dive in to this article right here. So GitHub survey finds nearly all developers are using AI coding tools. More than 97% of respondents to GitHub's AI and software development survey said that they had used AI tools at work. 60% to 71% of respondents reported that AI tools make it easy to adopt a new programming language or understand an existing code base. 17% to 27% said that they used AI tools only at work, which just goes to show that programmers are using inside or outside of work. Basically, the whole premise of this video is that programming is an ever long learning process and it's a lifelong learning skill. And what you need to understand is that the industry is going to continue to change and you have to be able to change with it. So we take a look at the actual survey itself. We're gonna check out some of the key survey findings that they found. Software development teams are recognizing more benefits with AI coding tools than previously reported. 59 to 88% of respondents across the markets are either actively encouraging or allowing the use of these tools. So it looks like AI is becoming a pretty standard and uniform tool that is being used throughout the industry. And why this matters is because a lot of people are very hesitant when it comes to learning something new. It's really easy to get comfortable with where you're at and just being like, you know what, I wanna stick here. And if you're someone who already knows how to code or maybe you already have a job, this video is pretty much meant to tell you, hey, you still need to be learning on the job. You still need to be learning new things even though you've gotten where you wanna be. You have to be willing to adapt to new changes in the industry, especially if you wanna survive in this ever-growing, ever-changing industry. A skill like programming definitely requires you to be knowledgeable of what's going on in the industry and where it's going. So when new things pop out, I'm not saying chase, always chase the new shiny things, but what I will say is when you know for a fact that something is gonna be a big change in the industry, you need to be able to ride that wave with it. So if the AI wave is coming your way and you're kind of hesitant, you're like, no, I don't really wanna get into AI, I don't really wanna learn it, you know, I'm really happy with where I am, understand that that will put you at risk for things in the long term. You don't wanna be late to the party when it comes to artificial intelligence. And since we can see right here that 98% of people are starting, 98% of people in this survey are starting to use AI, if you're someone who's still like, no, I don't wanna mess with it, you know, it's gonna take over the world, things like that, you need to understand that that is not the mentality you wanna have if you wanna maintain a stable career in the industry. At DevSoaps Academy, we talk about things like this all the time. And recently we started teaching TypeScript because it was becoming more prominent in the industry. Employers were wanting to see people who can work with TypeScript. And not just that, they wanna see people who can know how to work with APIs when it comes to artificial intelligence. So we've been teaching that. We recently did a hackathon where we paid $5,000 out to students all center around an artificial intelligence project because we know this is where the industry is headed and we wanna be able to keep our students up to date and we wanna be able to keep our students knowledgeable in what's going on. And this is what a lot of you know other education places, they fail to do. And this is what a lot of people fail to do just internally. They say like, yeah, you know, I know this is popular, but I mean, I, it's not gonna affect me, I should be fine. And that's not the mentality you wanna have, especially if you're in programming and you see like, hey, AI's popping. AI's popping. This survey right here just says it all. 73% of people in this survey had basically said, hey, AI coding tools will significantly improve their ability to fulfill customer requirements. Everyone is basically saying, yeah, AI is going to be here for a long time and we're excited about it. And so for yourself, you need to be able to look at your skills and say, okay, do I have everything I need to keep me in the industry that I want to be in? And if you don't, if you're missing something, if you're lacking a skill like AI, or maybe there's a language that you know could really benefit you at your job, or really benefit you in your career and your roadmap, then you need to start learning that language. You don't want to get stuck with where you are. You know, too many times, you know, a lot of programmers, even in the academy, sometimes 
uh, they'll they'll finish the JavaScript portion of the academy, and, and they're, they they feel pretty happy. And we notice a slow decline, you know, as we, as they go into React. And the reason for that is because you know they get kind of complacent. We always have to push those students, and eventually we tell them like, hey, you need to learn this if you want to get a job. And they're like, okay, yeah, for sure. But but you have to understand that it's an ever lifelong learning skill. And you're never not going to be required to learn something. And you can always improve your skills and, and go beyond the scope that you started in. And so that's kind of the gist of this video. I wanted to bring this survey to your attention. That way, for those of you who are nervous about AI, worried about it, take it. Use that as a tool. Start implementing it into your workflow. Embrace artificial intelligence because it's going to be around for a long time. And if there's any other skill out there that, that you feel like you need for your job or that you've been kind of putting off a little bit, go ahead and start learning that, whether it's a language, framework, anything along those lines. Understand that this industry is always gonna be changing and you have to be able to change and adapt with it. I'm gonna leave this survey down below. Feel free to check it out. Look at the real details of what people said about the benefits of AI, things along those lines. And guys, open up GitHub Copilot. It's not that hard. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Jake the Programmer. Peace.